Before I even explain what the palette mind game is, you must understand one simple concept first. If the hunter swings at you while you're throwing the pallet down, you will take a hit. The pallet mind game at its simplest core really is just a simple 50-50, and here is a basic description of it. From the hunter's perspective, if you are both about to reach the pallet, and the survivor gets behind the pallet, you as the hunter have to make a read of two options. Will your survivor, one, just walk right through the pallet, or two, try to pallet stun you? In scenario one, you made the read that they would just walk right through it. If your read is correct, you must walk through it too, and therefore you will get your hit. In scenario two, you made the read that they are trying to pallet stun you. If your read is correct, you must pretend you're about to walk through it, but stop right before it and then swing. Now let's look at this mind game from a survivor's perspective. As a survivor, if you are about to reach a pallet with the hunter right behind you, you must make one of two reads. Will your hunter, one, just walk right through it, or two, bait you to throw it down and then swing? In scenario one, you made the read the hunter will walk right through the pallet. If your read is correct, then you must pallet stun the hunter. In scenario 2, you made the read the hunter will swing at the pallet. If your read is correct, you actually have two options. Your first option is to just keep running. Your second option is to wait until they finish swinging and then you throw it down after. The reason I go over this is because the tutorial doesn't teach you any of this, and I was a freaking idiot who didn't, <laughs> who didn't know any of this, and I had to figure out all of this myself, but uh, either way, everything I just taught you doesn't matter because of this. <laughs> 